And I didn't see her for seven years. I had had a medical problem where I was seeing a doctor. And as it worked out, my doctor turned out to be her doctor. <laughs> Uh, when you are practicing this discipline, uh, doors open miraculously in mysterious, strange ways. And even years later, I was still, if I met someone or I, with my doctor, it was just, you know how doctors are, you, you wait for an hour and then the guy's with you for three minutes and then he's on to the next patient. They're racing all day long. But we had a bond and we started exchanging small talk about our personal lives. And some reason, no, 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 no mystery why for some reason, I would talk about her everywhere. I'm her biggest fan. She's it. She's number one for me. And this point he reveals to me, oh, by the way, your biggest fan, she happens to be a patient of mine. And he became my ally. The strange and mysterious ways of the source, allies appear. Helpers appear to aid you in your romantic journey or to aid you in whatever your shamanic discipline is, aid you toward this promotion. And he set up for me when she was going to come in the next time and I happened to make myself available in the waiting room when she appeared. And uh, I was waiting there after she finished her appointment and came out and I was still waiting there. And uh, she initiated a conversation with me. We were both acting like we hadn't met before. It had been seven years. Maybe she didn't remember. I remembered, of course. She said, hey, do you want to go get some coffee together? And I said, geez, I guess I can make some time. <laughs> So we go down, we spend the rest of the afternoon together, and we go out and have dinner together, have a pitcher of margaritas together, and uh, I, no need to go into detail, but we spent six or seven hours together. And it was mellow, and it was beautiful, and we were just two people hanging out. Again, not to get into too much detail, but at that point she was in a committed relationship, so the amorous potential uh, for me, was limited. And you know, I, could, I could have barged in and I could have done all these things we were talking about last time. I could have exerted my authority and uh, acted like her fiancé was uh, non-existent. But it wasn't that kind of a mood. It was just a mood of rejoicing in her presence and she rejoicing in my presence. And we were just two... Uh, people who are on the same path together. We were speaking as spiritual peers and sharing uh, postcards from our respective journeys, and it was beautiful. The time flew by, six or seven hours, and it was relaxed. There was no, none of this intense yearning. Just, it was so natural. Maybe that's the best word. So, that's, I think, all I'm going to tell you about that long, crazy, amorous journey between me and Miss X.